some sun. It's frightened. Time is short. Seek their fear and bring them to their knees and never relinquish your power. Deeply, this will sting. This beast intended great harm. <sighs> Luck was on my side. Luck is the often fickle brother of Providence. Is that so? Aye. The wolf. What of it? Something was wrong with it. Rabbit, most like. It was also big, far too large for a normal wolf, and its eyes. What of them? Empty, black, almost 
as if they were shadows. The hunger to kill. Where do you think you're going in that state? I've got to get back to the flock. What if the wolves should return? What did you say? I said, what if the wolves should return to the meadow? I've already lost one today. I can't afford to lose another. What kind of shepherd can't protect his own sheep? Son, you can't save that which is already lost. You're a fine shepherd who cares for his flock. That's all that matters. Speaking of which, when you're well enough to return to the fields, you best take this with you. A new staff. Actually, a very old staff. It was handcrafted by the light keepers themselves hewn from the tree of life and sealed by the eternal flame. It once harnessed the power of light imbued by the sacred spirit. Even if I did believe you, which I don't, wouldn't that be in the king's treasure vaults or armory? Why would we have something so valuable just lying around the cottage? Let's just say it belongs here between the dark forest and the heart of the kingdom. But if you don't want it... No, no, of course I'll use it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. Thank you. Indeed. Now I think it's past time I get to your chores. To think I had a son to save me grief. Well, then I suppose I should take up your duties. Like napping. It is just as I feared. A test is coming. How do I protect the kingdom when the people have no eyes to see? How father has changed. How they all have. And now another prince has been sent for. How will I make father see that that is not the answer? If he would just look upon what I've seen in the village. Who's there? Only a simple shepherd. I mean no harm. No sheep have come this way. No, I suppose not. Sorry to intrude. I'll leave it to your prayers. No, um... Um... You just startled me, that's all. I often come here to think as well. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect to find anyone here. Uh, what I mean is, um, well, that is what I meant to say is that- Don't um, worry, I know what you mean. You do? Most people say the light has faded. Or fled or died yes exactly uh, it is a relief to find I'm not the only one who thinks differently
Tell me, how much of the ancient writings have you read? Well, the only thing I know is what my father taught me. The light can never fade as long as we keep it in our hearts. Your father sounds very wise. He has his moments. It's not as safe as it used to be this close to the wild. Things are changing. Much to fear comes to us from the deep woods. And where is your home, shepherd boy? The deep woods. Would I be wise to fear you then? No good soul going about their fair business has anything to fear from me. And what of young women without escorts? Do they have not to fear? Neither from me nor from any evil while I'm near. I believe you. And you're right. If you have noticed that the world is changing, there is a cry that haunts my dreams of late. The wolves calling one another to war. You've heard them then? It, it is not just a dream? I've heard them. I've seen them. I've watched their foul blood stain the forest floor as they die with my dagger still in their throats. Tristan, Tristan Howell's son. Tristan Howell's son of the deep woods. I'm afraid I must take my leave now. I have a great many things to do before, uh, well, before I must return home. Of course. Um, this has been an interesting, if not, rather unexpected encounter. I thank you. Sure. Likewise. Light send, we meet again. Up. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Hazel, you hear that? He begs my pardon. <laughs> you just... Oh, come on, love. Don't mind me. What brings you in? I've been called to Zora on official business. They're at it again. I don't follow. You're not the first strapping young man that's been called to Zoran. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the one. Your pardon, sir. Have we met? We have not. I couldn't help overhearing your traveling to Zoran. 
at dawn? Forgive me. It's simply that I too have business there. And you require passage? I. But I'm afraid I have nothing to offer you for the trouble. What about that there? A uh, family heirloom, sir. As His Highness wishes. You have been most helpful, Your Highness. I'll give your regards to His Majesty. Ha <laughs> ha. 